Oh, George, it's simply lovely here. Thank you for bringing me. What a wonderful idea to go hiking. Yes, Judy, my dear. I wanted to take you to one of my favorite spots. Oh, George. Ooh, ooh, ah, ah. A big shout out to some of our amazing fans for liking and commenting on our videos. Bienvenido, Junior Agbin. Creative Minds Productions, Joyce Hammond, Becky Colgate, Chris Bryan, Shell Brady, Nicholas Bennett, Madeline Butler, Carly Kitten, and John Barry. And thank you to everyone who watches and comments or makes great suggestions for the Ricardo family videos. We hope you love this video. George's Wedding Proposal Disaster. This turned out to be a beautiful day for a hike. Why, yes, I thought so too. Did you want to take a break? No, no, my dear. The spring is just ahead this way. You'll love it there. Oh, wonderful. Lead the way. Excuse me, my dear. Oh, here we are. Oh, lovely. Well, Judy, my dear. Oh, yes, George. I brought you here because this is one of my favorite places to go. It's very special to me, just like you. I really missed you when you were on vacation with Rick, Lucy, and the kids. Oh, George, it was just a short trip, not too long. I missed you too, though. Wonderful to hear, my dear, wonderful. Because I just need to tell you how much I care about you. Oh, George, you don't need to bring me here to tell me. We could have stayed at home. No, no, my dear. It had to be someplace special. Well, what is it, George? You can just tell me. Frankly, my dear, it's just that we're here. Yay! We made it. Woohoo! Oh, I know. It's so nice. I love it here. Me too. Hey there. Oh, hello. Are you trying to get to the spring? Yes, please, if you don't mind. Yes, please. Oh, of course. We don't mind. Uh, actually, Judy, my dear. Yes, George. Um, I'm not done talking to you just yet. There's still more I wanted to say. Oh, here, we'll just scooch over. Go ahead, George, dear. Well, Judy. Oh, this water is so refreshing. Don't you think so? Yeah, I do. It's really refreshing. Oh, <gasps> come on, Judy. Let's go find a quiet place. Are you sure, George? Yes, Judy, my dear. Let us continue on. All right. Oh, no. I hope they didn't leave because of us. Nah, come on. Oh, it's just so beautiful here. Yeah, I know. Oh, perfect. Judy, my dear, would you like to sit down? Oh, lovely, George. Yes, I think this will do quite nicely, my dear, quite nicely indeed. And now that we're alone, I can finish telling you what I wanted to tell you. Yes, go ahead, dear. Well, frankly, Judy, we've known each other a while now. Yes, we have, George. And you've made my life so much better. The same with you, George. I'm so happy we met. Judy, I've wanted to ask you something. <coughs> Important. George, are you okay? I'm fine, Judy. Yes, George, dear. What is it? Will you? Will you? George, you don't look right. Oh, my heart. George. George. Are you okay? Oh, dear. George. Oh, dear. What do I do? Help! Someone help! Anyone! Someone! George! Did you say you needed help? Oh, yes, please help! George! I think he had a heart attack! Oh my goodness! Okay, honey, run back to the ranger station! Get help! For sure! I'll be right back! Please hurry! It's gonna be okay! We'll bring Mountain Rescue! Oh dear, George! <sighs> Oh no. Judy! Don't worry, George. These nice men are gonna take you down the mountain, okay? Ju Judy! Oh dear, George. Don't worry, ma'am. We're gonna take him down and we'll have an ambulance waiting for him to take him to the hospital. Oh, thank you, sir. You could probably ride in the ambulance with him if you'd like. Yes, yes, I would. All right, let's go. Easy does it, Tom. Easy does it. Oh, George's backpack and our poles. Oh, don't worry, ma'am. We'll carry them down the mountain for you. Thank you. Oh, dear. I hope he'll be okay. 
Wow, poor old guy. Yeah, I know. So sad. Let's grab their stuff and follow them down. All right. You mountain rats, you guys, really worked fast. Well, you have to when people are this bad. No, that's perfect. Good job. Oh, is George gonna be okay? His blood pressure's through the roof, and he's gotta get to the hospital stat. Oh, George. Don't worry, ma'am. They'll take good care of him at the hospital. Oh. I better get this guy to the hospital. You hopping in with me, ma'am? Yes, please. I don't think I could drive right now. J Judy! Judy! Try not to speak, George. Hold on, sir. I'm gonna get you to the hospital. Lickety split. All right, ma'am. Hop in. Thank you. And thank you, Mountain Rescue. That's my job, ma'am. I hope you two will be okay. Thank you. Oh, George. Here, let me help you with the door. Thanks. There you go. You're all set. Thanks. Good luck. Wow, I hope he's going to be okay. He seemed really out of it. Yeah, he's not doing good. Thanks for all your help, folks. Uh, no problem. Yeah, no problem. Come on, let's get back to the station. Yep. Oh, poor guy. Yeah, she was really upset too. I know, I feel so bad. Well, should we just go home? Yeah, I think so. I'm not really in the mood for hiking now. I know, me too. Alright, let's go. Okay. We've been expecting you. Dr. Singh should be coming down straight away. What do we got here, people? We've got a mail. 67. Name is George Carlisle. Unresponsive, possible heart attack. Okay, well, let's have a quick listen here. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. George, can you hear me, George? Judy. Oh, my goodness. I think there's a full blockage. We may have to operate. Operate? Take him into room one, straight away. Doctor? Are you his next of kin? Well, I'm his girlfriend, but we're very close. Well, he may have a blockage, but we're gonna have to run some more tests. If it is what it is, he's gonna have to go for surgery straight away. Oh no, surgery? That's not good at all. Are you able to contact any of his next of kin? Yes, I can. His nephew is my grandson-in-law. I suggest you call him straight away. Yes, doctor, I will. Once we've run some tests, someone will come out and let you know what's going on. Thank you. Oh dear, this is not good at all. I better call Jason. Don't worry, ma'am. They're gonna take good care of him. I hope so. I need to make a phone call. Mm. Hello? Oh, Jason, it's Judy. Hey, Judy, how's it going? Oh, it's not good, Jason. Why? What's wrong? It's George, honey. What happened? Is Uncle George okay? I don't know. We were out hiking and I think he had a heart attack. We're at the hospital now. They're running some tests. Oh my gosh, okay, um, I'll be right there. Thank you, Jason. Yeah, sure, I just, I gotta call Becky. No problem. See you soon. Yeah, bye, Judy. Bye. Oh dear, poor Jason. I hate to tell him such news over the phone. I guess I better sit down. I hope those tests don't take too long. Mm, I'm so worried about George. Feels like he's been in there forever. This waiting is driving me crazy. I really wish someone would come out and talk to me. Excuse me, miss. Yes, how can I help you? Have you heard anything about what happened to my George? No, I'm sorry, ma'am. Nothing yet. Once the doctors know something, they'll be out straight away to talk to you. All right. Paging Dr. Craig, Dr. Craig to exam room one. Paging Dr. Craig. Jason! Judy! How is he? How's George? I don't know, dear. No one's come out to tell me anything yet. Last I knew, they were still running some tests. Well, what happened? You guys were hiking? Yes, he wanted to take me up to his favorite spot in the mountains. The spring? Yes, he does love it up there. Was he okay for the hike or was he out of breath? Well, he was acting a little bit strange, but I asked him if he wanted to stop and he just kept wanting to go on. He said something about wanting to talk to me. Oh, right, wanting to talk to you. 
And how did it go? Well, it was lovely at first, and then he just kind of, he just kind of fell over. Oh, poor George. Jason, what are we going to do? Well, I don't know, Judy. We just have to wait. I'm sure everything's going to be fine. I hope so. I guess the only thing we can do is wait for the doctors to come. Yeah, I guess so. Oh, dear. Cold blue to room one. Cold blue to room one. Room one? That was the room that George was in. Uh-oh. Excuse me, miss. Doctor, patient is still unresponsive. Charging to 250. Clear. Still unresponsive, doctor. I'm losing him. I'm losing him. I came for the cold blue. Charging 300. 300. Clear. Still unresponsive, doctor. Give him 10 cc's of adrenaline. 10 cc's. Charging 300. Clear. Jason, I think that code blue is for George. I know, Judy. I think so too. Oh, George. Come on, Uncle George. Pull through, buddy. We need you. The end. Thanks for watching. To join all the fun up in our treetop, please subscribe to Little Monkey Media's channel. Don't forget, if you like our video, please share it and click like. We go bananas for monkeys!